Hello and welcome to the Prom 9, where I'm currently in a position where I'm pretty much ready to get straight into bed. Which is always a good thing, because I'm tired and it's 10.54, I've got work tomorrow and I'm knackered. Well we did move the rest of the stuff outside the flat. Oh, what a happy dad. Room is pretty well set up as it's going to be. I do need to, I don't know if you can see it, that power supply that's just fell over, I do need to bolt it on the bottom of this desk, that we've got a desktop. I need to get a KVM switch so the Linux box can be in continuous use. And found a nice little place for the radio and whatnot. And that cabinet's lifting down here for now, probably permanently. In the top we've got operating systems, computer hardware, Arduino. Bottom we've got tall CDs, capture card thing. All that good jazz. And I also put all my pen pots and screwdriver pots and whatnot there. <sighs> Whoa. Man, oh man, it's all been physical exercise for me, which is good for the weight loss front. And of course, good for motivation. And yes, there's a whole time I would like to do a collection update video. More engineering goodness to come. Spectrum analyzer, I need to do ten now. I need to do some more stuff for the XP. Trouble is, it's finding the motivation and time to do all these. Sometimes we you have the motivation, but you're in the middle of work. By the time you get home, you're too tired and can't be asked. The weekend hits, and you'd rather play games. Yeah, hey, you do run into those sorts of problems. Motivation, time, buying good constraints. Then of course I to set up the laptop because I'm going to install the bloody editing software on the desktop, which is what something I'm going to hopefully do soon. Well, I finally got around to rooting my tablet. I don't know if I've announced that, but my Tesco's tablet, I've successfully rooted it. I want to do a video covering routing actually because uh, it's an interesting thing and it's definitely something that isn't for everyone. It all depends on your usage requirements of the device. I was going to go and chill with mum but she's gone to sleep. And of course I got the Pixar lamp mounted to the desk which is always awesome. With the desk lamp I pulled off that lamp that was thrown in the skip. Sadly the articulated arm was pulled to bits because it would have been quite nice to actually use it. In fact actually one thing I want to build is the, one of the sketches from Red Dwarf, you know, little robots with a little claw on the end, if you don't know what I mean. You could actually use a stepper motor drive to move the articulated arm around. The good thing about recycling an old desk lamp, or finding a cheap one somewhere, would be you've, the mechanics is already done for you. All what you've got to do is work out on how you're going to mo get the mechanics moving up, down, left, right, however you decide to do it. I'd also like to get it so the sketchers can do the middle fit, the two finger gag. <laughs> So you'd have it remote controlled and then you can just flick a switch or hit a button on the remote control and then it'll go <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be able to do that, that's the main and of course the picky up like the they could in the show. Maybe uh, it'd be worth seeing what technical documentation I can get and design modifications I can make. Doesn't have to be a full size one as long as it looks somewhat similar. I can make the chassis bits out of paper mache and paint them. <laughs> That's a project I'd like to do. The Nixie watch is another project I'd like to do. I need to finish off the VFD clock. I have so many project ideas flying around in my head, but I rarely ever have the time to execute any of them. On materials, 
that's why I need my own workshop. Because then I have the materials, I don't have to set it up and dismantle it continually, which means I can just go there, sit down with a bit of spare time and just work on stuff. Instead of having to set stuff up and all that. But, uh, yeah, I need my own workshop, plain and simple. Maybe one day, well, when I get my own house, I will build myself one, but while I'm in the parents' house, it's very much a dream. Unless randomly they decide to move to some nice country house, that'd be quite cool. Well, I can have a workshop. Yay! That'd be pretty awesome. But, yeah, it's usual sort of stuff. Rambly goodness, as I like to do. People like rambles. Kovac the Killer Calculator is here. And, of course, Pac-Man thing. I'm probably going to do a rotation on vintage computers on display. Put some away and get some others out to go in their place. Because why not rotate things round every so often? The only trouble with doing a collection video is I have to dig some stuff out that's, out that's quite well buried in the cupboard. So don't expect that any time soon. Just at some point in the future. How there'll be some videos that say, like, yeah, I'll do that for you. Year, year or two later. Still never got round to it. <laughs> but yeah, the collection has grown quite substantially since then. I'm half tempted to sell the Commodore C64C. It works. Well, as all towards testing, I can get to save and load the tape and all that jazz. Play tunes out of random listings I can find online. On I think I pulled that out of a PDF manual. But yeah, I lack interest in the Commodore 64, so it makes sense for it to go to a home where people are more Commodore 64 savvy than me. Whereas I'm more sort of Electron and that. I've got Spectrum, which I've literally done nothing with, but it sits nicely on display, so Specky's all good. <coughs> Works. And the 5150, mm, progress is slowed down because of ordering parts and all that jazz. Expect to see that videos continue on that they're probably going to be the ones which have always gone to 1102 according to the Nixie clock which is always right uh, oh, but yeah usual sort of jazz hmm, I've got a test the Linux editing package but then I have to do playing with the keyboards i got keyboard and mouse just sitting on top of the PC itself Seriously, always have yourself a good substantial setup of all possible systems within your Mark affordability range. So Windows systems, Linux systems, and if you can afford it, Mac systems, maybe some Android systems, and iOS. I actually have an iOS device, my iPod. I don't use it much. And of course my Android device, which is such a useful little computer. Especially now that it's rooted. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'm probably going to go to bed now. Bye. <coughs>